guys, I'm sitting down with Adam Berkowitz of Sampara and Lance of Shine Solar. Oh, I already forgot your last name, Lance. What is your last? Lance Young of Shine Solar out of Bentonville, Arkansas. I at least remembered that. Uh, so, Adam, you're with Sampara, and I want to hear real quick. I know you're going to be a speaker today, and obviously with Lance here, he, Lance is a client of yours. We're going to talk about a testimonial of some success uh, of what you guys have experienced from a solution that you're able to provide for Shine Solar. But tell me really briefly about Shine, uh, about Sampara, sure. what you do, and then maybe you'll tee it up to Lance and share some of the experience of the success and I presume savings of money as well, right? Absolutely savings. A lot yeah, of savings. That, that's the key. Yeah. Absolutely savings. So, so uh, Simpar is only a five-year-old company and we began with this premise that healthcare is not just broken or unsustainable, it's beyond that point. So we really needed to create something from the ground up that supported transformation like what we've done for Shine Solar in a very entrenched incumbent based industry, right? Sure. Uh, health insurance is older than banking, right? It's like there's been no, no evolution of transparency. There's been no evolution of how do we control our spend and how do we provide benefits that aren't making people bankrupt, right? So yeah. we needed to create a platform that allowed companies like Shine Solar that only has, you know, 250 employees. I say only, but right, this this is middle America. And they can't afford a $2,000 deductible. They can't afford a $3,000 deductible if they get hurt. And so are, is our health plan really providing the, the comfort and the security that we think it should be? And the good news is they don't have a deductible today. They don't have any co-insurance today. Primary care is free. Mental health care is free. Um, and they've saved a lot of money in the process. Mm -hmm. So um, at the end of the day, it's about taking care of people. And it's about meeting them where they are and providing an outstanding benefit that they've never thought was possible in the first place. So Lance, I'd love to hear from your perspective, right? And I always appreciate the employer side of things, right? You've got a consultant like Adam that is, is the expert, right? And he's obviously presenting solutions that he believes will work well for you. But ultimately, it comes down to you and your business and what's best for your business and what you feel you can stomach and some of the disruption that happens with that. Yeah. So talk to me about your seat at the table, what it's like to go through that thought process and maybe some of the, you know, some of the changes that you were able to implement with Adam and the successes that you've seen from that. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Um, you know, at, at Shine Solar, we really focus our business on disrupting the electrical market. You know, solar and electrical companies don't really go together because every time we sell a solar panel system, it takes away from the electrical system's profit, right? The electric companies, the electric co-ops. And so we, uh, we've always looked to partner with disruptors in the market. And so one of the things that I found in my three years at Shine, working in human resources and administration and, and being that, that bridge between the executive team and, our, and all of our benefit partners, is that we were with a traditional healthcare company whenever I first came on board. And right whenever I came on board, we went through our first open enrollment. And so I was kind of thrust into this narrative of, how much more are we spending per year? Our employees have to spend how much on their deductibles? And I'm going, this is, this is crazy. Like, I, I can't afford this. I know my employees can't afford this. This is, this is nuts. And they're like, well, you know, we, uh, we were, they were going to want to raise your rates by X percentage, but we were able to negotiate it down to X percentage. So you saved 7%. I like, you didn't save me 7%. You raised my cost by 4%. But you know, so we, we saw that narrative quickly change. And so the next year, it was the same song and dance, but we were a lot better prepared. And so we actually hired a third party consultant to come in and help us navigate these waters. And she uh, she really helped us uh, in a lot of different ways by running the, uh, the, the RFP process and introduced us to Adam and, and, and two other benefit providers. And, and we, we saw what it meant to go from being a, a uh, fully insured to a self-insured and the transparency, the control that you have over all of your cost, and then the ability to really impact people's lives. And so, at, you know, Simpar HR in the, in the presentation that Adam gave in opening our eyes to this new way of thinking about healthcare and being able to take control of your cost as, a, as, a, as an employer, I had no idea where, my, where our money was going uh, with our previous benefit provider. I know where every cent of where our dollars are being spent now. And we're able to discuss openly about how do we take care of people better. And so with Adam and his team at, at, at Sampara, Ashley and Danielle and, and uh, Nikki, they just do a fantastic job of really taking concierge level care of our employees. And so because of that, 
we have been able to save a lot of money because we're reducing the bloat. We're eliminating all the, the, the middlemen and the bureaucracy and all of that. And we've been able to take the profits that we're saving from healthcare and really applying them to growing our business in a, in a market sector, you know, with solar that's just exploding right now. So we need, we need all of that ability to grow. So, you know, we, we have a warehouse not 15 minutes from where we're at. And, you know, some of that was partially funded by the healthcare dollars that we're not spending, you know, um, and it's a strange win-win because you never hear of companies that say, I'm able to provide better benefits for my employees and save money. And so, obviously, the company's happy and the employees are happy. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah the, the proverbial win-win here. So I, I want to ask you uh, one more thing. By the way, I love client testimonials because, like, you forget sometimes the theory that's behind this, and then you hear straight from the horse's mouth, no, no, uh, no offensive intended, obviously, that, hey, this is working, right? This actually worked and helped my business. This is real. It's that the, the customer testimonial. Uh, sometimes I think even brokers are afraid to put their right. client out there out of fear that somebody's going to poach them. Now, that is your biggest advocate because you help them win, and they're going to be an advocate for you in the future. So, Adam, real quick, a couple touch points uh, as you're going on stage, a couple things you want to talk about specifics in terms of solutions that you're a big believer in. Yeah, so we're, we're going to talk about kind of the overall framework. I call it the recipe that other employers can adopt readily. I mean, these are evidence-based strategies. Shine didn't invent them. They weren't the first to do it. Uh, they're not going to be the last, right? And it also, I don't think it was very hard, right? Right? No, it was a very right? easy conversation. <laughs> right? So this is this is really common sense stuff. Um, you got to leave the system. You got to be in a self-funded plan, fully independent and aligned partners. If you're in a fully insured market or if you're self-funded using a big insurance company, they control it. You got to take that control back and bring it in-house. And that, that frees up everything else that you can do down the road. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's being in that right vehicle. Um, there's a lot of direct contracting we're doing, so we're focusing on unit cost of healthcare. We're focusing on unit cost of pharmacy and medications. We're looking at the high claimants, those two to five percenters of the population that are driving the claims for everyone else, and we're really providing that concierge service to um, to get them the right care um, for for less. And when and when they do that, they win. They don't pay anything out of pocket. And so it's you know forgetting that healthcare is about people and that. It's also a very tricky and complicated system to navigate, and we can provide that. We can mm -hmm. provide that support. And so um, kind of the combination of those four things, that's how we get to where we are. Yeah. Amazing. Well, um, Adam and Lance, I really appreciate you guys sitting down. Thank you for also dispelling the myth that cheaper benefits means you have to have worse benefits at the same time. It's incredible, and I'm happy to hear that you're able to accomplish both at the same time. It's like the guy that's adding muscle but lo losing fat at the same time. It is possible with the right coach and the right support. So, Adam and Lance, thank you so much for your time, and I'm looking forward to seeing yeah. you up on stage. Thanks, Thanks gentlemen. Bye.